Okay, so do y'all remember way, 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 way back when Polo G and his baby mama broke up and a guy came out who was Crystal's friend and basically exposed her, told everything that was going on? Well, he's going viral again and this time not for a good reason at all. I was getting DMs, people was like, you need to get on Facebook. They saying that he was riding around with his dead friend in the car and they didn't take him to the hospital and he was laughing and all this other stuff. So boom, I'm gonna get into the situation. Now first, this is some type of Kansas City tea page that posted this. This is a newer page. I was looking at the page, it doesn't have much on it. So basically this page was saying that his friend ate something, had an allergic reaction, and they did not immediately call 911, take her to the hospital or anything, and basically he was recording the girl there deceased. Y'all, what do you take for a hangover? <laughs> Where you get them from? <laughs> Is she alive, bro? Do y'all think she alive? <laughs> Wait, she don't put the committee. Was she allergic to something she had? Get out of my head. No, bro, you was thinking that shit too. I didn't want to see it because I didn't know she was up tonight. Ladies and gentlemen. Y'all, our friend ended up dying because she allergic. She do too much. Who just dies on their friend in the car? Do too on the much. way to the airport. On the way to the airport, she gonna die. So now her people's about to be mad at us because she did. Like what? Girl, she about to go to childish free in hell. She do too much. <laughs> now this page even went as far as to up a screenshot of something that was supposed to be of the family member reaching out to the page saying that they need, you know, this to be known. They need the information to get out. They need people to be aware of the situation. People were sending this to my DM and I'm like, oh my God, I literally could not believe that he would do that. Like he seemed cool. I follow him on Instagram. He's super funny. So then I do a little digging cause I'm like nosy for one and two, like what the heck? Like how does girl just die like that in the car? So I ended up on the actual girl page and she said, bro, I am not dead. I am very much alive. Who makes up a false narrative like this? So I'm now I'm like, dang, somebody must be playing some weird prank on her because wishing death on somebody or claiming death on somebody's life is not funny at all. She said, I really hate the freak out of social media. I'm healthy and alive. Then she made a post and said, then this man go live acting like I really died. That's sick. Somebody said, so you really did have an allergic reaction or you was literally just sleep? She said, I was sleep. Then she made a post of a screenshot when she wrote him. She said, yeah, see, don't use me for no social media clout, sick AF. You can see in the message where he told her, I did tell him I was joking though. I said it was a year ago and it was a joke and they said, ask her to go live then, but I couldn't find your socials. So shoot, I didn't know what to do at that point. I'm sorry, I was joking. It started cause my friend was like, I dare you to post it and be like, she died. I literally was just playing around and it wasn't like you was, I was wishing death on you or nothing. So I'm sorry if you took it that way. It was more like dark humor than they ran with it. She said, yeah, nah, don't play with me on social media like that. Then he made a post and he said, she's talking about use her for social media cloud when she didn't ask me for promo. Obviously the video went viral because of who I am already. The dark humor was funny at one point as y'all see her laughing, but then when it goes viral, she wanna act like, oh, she's mad about it, LMAO. I hate people that be flip flopping. I been done told them you wasn't even really dead and they talking about post a video of you saying it cause they ain't believe me, gone. In the screenshot, you can see that she did comment on it and laugh. And then you can see her say, I need followers, and how he said he charged 100 for promo. And then they started talking about that video. So I don't know how y'all feel about it. Maybe she had a part on it, or. And then her family got worried or whatever. People in the comments were conflicted. Some people were saying how it was weird and sick and that he hadn't talked to her for a year. And other people were like, but it looks like she laughed at the situation. So what's the problem? Then somebody even sent me a video of the live where he did go live and continue to say that the girl had passed away. I don't know if he was being sarcastic or what. We dropped her off at the, uh, did you at least tell her funeral? What they had her funeral on a Saturday and I think my friend had a host in that night and I went to I don't know if they were in on it together or if he did that to her or whatever because she clearly did laugh at the original post on Snapchat but y'all do not wish death over your life or speak death into existence don't do that it's not death is not a joke 
don't do that y'all anyways thank you so much for tuning in today especially if you stay to the end of the video do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this youtube channel don't forget to go to instagram and follow my page where i post daily and follow my twitter as well because you know instagram be tripping and deleting people pages for no reason but i'm always gonna be on twitter period